of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the long rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. Feather of Nakona, chief of Mingo tribe. Feather say, white man not welcome. Well, I guess this bears out the rumors we heard at the fort about the Mingos wanting to go back on the warpath. The chief warned white man, stay away. We came out here to see Chief Nakona to find out why he's breaking the treaty and no feather's gonna stop us. <laughs> Mingo brave could get into trouble causing harm to a man who's welcome in the lodge of his chief. This Mingo land. Young warrior quick to raise tomahawk against my blood brother, Hawkeye. Tonkawa raised tomahawk against all white men. Hawkeye and Mohican prisoner. <laughs> Hawkeye and Chingashkuk, not wise to pass feather. Nakona forgets quickly. Hawkeye, friend of Mingo's. Mingo have no friend among white men. You enemy. You have brought your first, Don Gala. Go. Unless the fate of this paleface hath greater meaning for you than hand of will o -wist. Get out. Warning of feather. Not meant for my friends. You're welcome at my fire. Kind of had me worried there for a minute, Nakona. That Tonkawa sure bent on getting my scalp. Like many braves, Tonkawa, speak first, think later. My ears tell me that there is unrest at Nakona's fires. For many years, my people have been at peace. It is my wish. Now, many young braves speak of war. Today, much will be decided. The time has come for will o -Wist to leave my lodge. Two braves bargain for my daughter to be squaw. Tonkawa bring many furs, fine skin. Kwana also bring much fur, fine skin. Now Kwana offer greatest possession. Three horses stand behind my teepee. I offer them. That ought to settle it. Kwana has made great offer. The hand of will wist is my greatest desire. Nakona knows my gift... Wait! I will also give three horses. You offer more, Kwana? It is all I have. I can give no more. There is more you will give, Tonkawa? It is all I offer. Each offers much. But both cannot have one score. Go then to the forest. Whichever one returns first, with the greatest ear, with the finest hide, he shall gain hand of will o -wist. 
great chief forgets easily. Now we must hunt deer. Once, most Yankee scalps taken by warrior was much greater prize. I have spoken. You will hunt deer. Go. Thank you, my father. When Kwana is chief, your wishes will be fulfilled. She seems awful sure of herself. Now, Connor made it so that she would gain the hand of Kwana, the one she truly loves. Now, Kwana have no son to follow as chief. Tribal laws say whoever marries Will o' Wisp will be next chief. Tonkawa make bad chief, want war. Kwana will be good chief, live in peace. When the Kona sent braves to hunt, it was so decided. Kona, best hunter in village. Arrow quick, aim steady. Kona, bring first deer. No wonder Tangawa got so mad. No Kona is great and wise chief. Like all father, love and happiness of little one come first. Maybe someday when I get old, with long life behind me, then it's time for me taking squaw. Hawkeye and the Mohegan are men of the wilderness. She is your squaw. While you are on the lands of my people, you are safe. The corner guide his people well. Peace not be broken. I don't know. As long as they have braves like Tonkawa. He's sure anxious to get Willow West and become the next chief. You think he caused trouble? I wouldn't put it past him. My brother, your death will make many pale face lose scalp. It'll soon be dark. We can still make it to the way station. We'll have to use one of Mallory's canoes to travel the river tomorrow. Speaks of the dead. Over there. You're right, it's a deer. It's more than that. Bullet strike here, wound deep. But he not dead. Yeah, but he will be if he doesn't get fixed up quick. We'll take him to the way station. It's a lot closer than going all the way back to Nokoma's village. The Mallorys can take care of him there. My ears do not believe the words Tonkawa has spoken. It is true, great chief. Tonkawa see his brother Kwana fall before the long rifle of the white man. How many were there that did this thing? Tonkawa could not tell. Perhaps few, perhaps many. What paleface travels these lands unknown to me? What of the one called Hawkeye? Hawkeye would not do he this. He is paleface. All paleface are enemy of red skin. We stand here, talk, while enemy escape. Take braves. Bring body of Kwana to my lodge. If there is truth in the words Tonkawa has spoken, then many paleface will die. There will be war. If Tonkawa lies, the torture of the stake will be his reward. 
Go! Shut up. Well, glory be! That? Oh, that? What is it? Look who'll be coming. Hawkeye and his engine friend. Hawkeye, Singer's Creek. Hello, Liza. What have you got there? This is Quanah. He's a brave of the Mingo tribe. This is a fine way to greet old friends, bringing them a dead engine. Not dead. Hurt bad. He stopped a bullet with his shoulder. You think you can fix him, Liza? Sure. Put him in the cabin. Now, Liza, Shelton or Redskin in our house is only asking for trouble. That engine's a human being with a soul, Zach Mallory, and it's our Christian duty to help him. Inside. I don't take to this, Liza. You'll save that savage's life only to lose your own to him. He's immortal in need of care, Zach. If you're scared of him, then bide your time outside. Here, finish taking in that wash. Here in this place, Quanah fell before long rifle of Paleface. Mm. Yeah. Quanah taken by Paleface to cover his evil deed from our eyes. See, moccasin of Mohican. Another mark. Uh -huh. Only Hawkeye and Chingachgook cover feet like Mohican. Hawkeye, kill our brother. Uh -huh. We follow trail. Avenge Quanah. Uh -huh. Now you take my woman. Dedicated, that's what she is. In there tending that red skin like he was her own son. Mark you, no good will come of it. You can't trust them engines. Of course, I didn't include Chiashkuk as one of them. It's them savages I'm talking about. Yes, sir. One month more is all I've got. Then my contract to run this way station expires, and I ain't renewing it. I'm going back to civilization. Well, you've made a good living here, Zach. The prices are high enough. High they should be. Risking my life among the redskins in order to bring the traveler his necessities and comforts? That's worth something a little extra, in my way of thinking. Now that you've lined your pockets with gold, you want to hightail it to a place of safety where you can live out your life growing fat and old. And such a life I deserve. Bah. He's stirring in there. You better go sit with him while I clean up. You stay here, Chingashku. Help me wash the dishes. Me? Wash dishes? Yes, wash dishes. No, oh, me not even take squaw when old. Yankees! What is it? We've got visitors, and I don't think they've come for a social call. I knew it. You let him bring that red skin in here, and now we... Zack! If you've got guns and powder, you'd better see to him. You help him. I won't lift a weapon against any red skin unless there's a cause. Yengis, come out! If they've come after your scalp, is that cause enough? What do you want, Tonkawa? Hawkeye killed Quanah. Tonkawa and Braves come for slain brother. You didn't tell us it was you. Tonkawa lied. I didn't shoot Quanah, but I think I know who did. Tonkawa think Quanah dead. Maybe it was him who... Here, what do you think you're doing? Quanah, open eyes. 
first feel fire in back. Then hear voice of one who shot rifle. Tonkawa, never good with gun. Aim bad. Lucky for Kwana. I guess that answers our question. Tonkawa shot Kwana for two reasons. To win hand of Willowist, become new chief. Right, and if he can put the blame on us, it'll be easy for him to stir up trouble between Akona and the whites in this territory. What are we going to do? Well, if, if you can hold off Tonkawa till I get back to Nakona and tell him what's happened. Well, we can't do that. There are probably ten of them out there to every one of us. And with you gone... You got a better idea? Yangis, come out! Give us Kwana! Okay. This was to be gift for Willowist on marriage day. You take. If you reach village, then she will know Kwana lives. You'll still get to use it, Kwana. Yenge, come out! You can't go. They're going to attack. No, I don't think they will. Not at least until nightfall. But they'll sit out there and worry you some, so don't go sticking your head out the windows. What are we going to do? We wait. You go load guns. known only to Kwana and myself. On our wedding day, I was to receive it as a token of his love. Hawkeye is right. Kwana lives. We follow Hawkeye. Kwana is all right. He was when I left him. Come. Oh. Too quiet. I don't like it. Do you think they're still there? Me look. Still there. Do you think Hawkeye will get here in time?
chief has brought Paleface. Was he who killed Kwana? Hankawa! Too easy. Go. Leave these lands. Never return. You are not worthy of your people. get well pretty quick now. It was a beautiful wedding. Marriage is not possible without the help of my white brother. You are always welcome in my lodge. Well, I'm afraid that welcome won't do him much good, Nakona. Come next half moon, Zach's figuring on heading east. You leave us. Well, I was thinking about it. You see, my way station never meant no more to me than a way to make a living. But now I don't know. Fighting for it just sort of made a difference. I reckon it don't do a man no good to fight for something and then up and leave it. This is our home. We got friends here. I reckon we ought to stay. You, I know, must go. We have many trails to follow. The Great Spirit will guide my brothers, Hawkeye and Chingashgook. Glad you changed your mind, Zach. We need men like you out here. We'll be back again this way someday soon. When you do come back, the doors of Zach Mallory's trading post will always be open to you. Goodbye, Liza. Goodbye. What's the matter with you? When we return, Willow Wist and Quano have many papoos. Now, Zach and Liza are very happy. Maybe someday, pretty soon, Jinga Chico takes squaw. <laughs> Come on. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. <laughs> <laughs>